This nice treasure box for girls is made out of a cardboard box for some sweets. For its decoration I use three different napkins of the same style and I'm going to decoupage them using five different methods. Now I start with this butterfly. First I tear the picture I need out of the napkin, then I iron it well. I placed it where I'm going to glue it and mark the spot using a wet brush. Just leave a line of water on the surface. Then I apply PVA glue, making sure there are no dry spots left and trying to keep inside the outline. After it dry completely, I take away two white layers of the napkin's fragment. I place the fragment exactly on the spot with glue and put baking paper over it. Then I applied a hot iron. This method can be used only if the surface is absolutely flat and even and will do the best for pictures with well-defined outline. In that case, you can cut it out with scissors and outline it with a pencil. I iron until the whole napkin is glued. So, the butterfly is ready. Outside the picture there is some not glued white napkin left, but I'm going to remove it either with water or with sandpaper after I coated the fragment with acrylic varnish. I must admit I don't really like this method and hardly use it, even though, as I learned, many people use it and like it. The next piece of napkin I decoupage simply by applying glue directly on the napkin. Sometimes it's called dry technique because you place the napkin over a dry surface. So I just place a napkin on the right spot and apply glue. I go carefully from the center out. You can use whether a special decoupage glue or, as I am doing here, PVA glue. A wet napkin stretches. Keep it in mind when you choose the place to glue the fragment. Actually, with a train hand you can decoupage a whole napkin this way, especially if using decoupage glue. I personally use it only for not very big fragments, like this one. Sometimes using this method you can be tempted to add water to get away the wrinkles. Don't do that, because water makes a napkin very fragile and it could be destroyed when touched by a brush. Leave it to dry, you can also use a hair dryer if you want. Then I coat it with acrylic varnish. First I apply some PVA glue at the surface. Then I take a punch pocket and cut two pieces out of it, a bit larger than the fragment I am going to glue. I take one of them, remove two layers from the napkin, and place the napkin's top layer on the punch pocket, colorful side down. Add water quite a lot. Then I place the second piece of the punch pocket and smooth and stretch the napkin which is in between. I make sure there are no wrinkles left and remove the upper layer. Then I take the piece of the napkin and place it on the surface. Do not touch the napkin, only the punch pocket. I stretch it out a bit again through the pocket. Now I remove it and don't touch the napkin anymore. Just let it dry and then varnish it. I use this method to decoupage a larger fragment or a whole napkin. First I iron the napkin, then coat it with a spray varnish. While the napkin is still wet, I remove two white layers. Usually I apply two three times at the colorful side and once at the back side of the napkin. 
When the napkin is properly dried, I apply glue all over the surface I am going to glue the fragment. I do it very carefully, making sure the whole spot is coated with glue. Then I repeat all the stages of the previous method with a punch pocket. Since the napkin is coated with varnish, it cannot be so easily destroyed by water, so you can work with it without fear to tear it. You see how important to varnish every piece of napkin you decoupage. The water of this napkin goes over each fragment I've glued, but thanks to the varnish, water won't ruin them. So I've glued this nice girl. I let it dry and coat it with acrylic varnish. I ironed the napkin and coat it with spray varnish, as I did in the previous method. I apply glue where I want to place it and add water. Then I place the napkin right on the surface. Water prevents the napkin to stick to the surface immediately, and you can easily move and stretch it. I add more water and stretch the napkin with wet fingers. Do not touch it with dry fingers, you can tear it. In this manner I smooth the napkin and push the water out to the edges. I use this method when I need to glue a napkin on an even surface. Let's say you have a bowl or a bottle. If you get something round, prominent or hollow, you can't use an iron or a punch pocket and this method works the best. So I push out the water, the napkin gets smooth right under my fingers. Then I dry it with a hair dryer and varnish it. Well, you can choose one of these methods which you find good or appropriate for the work you do and use it. After all the fragments were glued, I painted very lightly some flowers and butterflies added lace, sprinkles, splash drops of paint, and here you are, a nice treasure box for a girl is ready.